Hey there, and welcome to a Final Cut Pro episode of Apple A Day. A while ago, I put out a tutorial on creating a 3D carousel slideshow using Apple Motion. And this is it right here. It's a giant 3D disc or carousel of images. The camera moves around the carousel from image to image. The images are spaced 10 degrees apart in the circle for a total of 36 slides, which is 360 degrees. There's a 37th slide in the center, which is where the slideshow ends. Since publishing that video, I've had a lot of requests for the final template. These are from viewers who don't own Apple Motion, but use Final Cut Pro. So today, I'm releasing a complete ready-to-use version of this carousel slideshow template. If you do have a copy of Motion and would like to know how this template was created, you can find the link to that tutorial in the description below. This video is more about how to make the supplied template work in Final Cut Pro. First, you'll need to download the template. There's a Dropbox link for it in the description, so go ahead and download that now. I've also supplied some sample images, and there's a link to those as well if you would like to use them. So as you can see on my screen, I have a downloaded folder already on my desktop. I also have the sample images as well. So in order to get Final Cut Pro to recognize this template, you need to move it into the Motion Templates folder. I also have that folder already open as well. You can find the Motion Templates folder inside your Movies folder. I'll right click on it so you can see exactly where it's located. It's inside Users and then your own name and Movies. So within the Motion Templates folder, we want to put this new template into the Generators folder. I'll open that up. And once in my Generators folder, we need to pick a category for the template. I'm going to put this into my Apple A Day folder. You can create an Apple A Day folder yourself or call it whatever you like. And inside this folder, notice that I've already got some other templates I've created. Most likely, yours will be empty. So I'm now going to move my Carousel template folder into my Apple A Day folder, which is inside Generators, which in turn is inside the Motion Templates folder. And that's really all there is to it. I'll launch Final Cut Pro and try it out. So I've already got a blank project ready to go. I've also already imported those sample images that I provided. Note that these are just AI images that I quickly created using Leonardo's flow state. So to see the template, I'll just click on the Show Titles and Generators button in the top left, and I'll open up Generators. I'll select Apple a day, and there it is, Carousel Slideshow. I'll just drag this down to the timeline, and I'll just play it back at high speed so you can see that it's working. And if you look over on the right, you can see all of the drop zones, and they are ready to receive images. And notice that within each drop zone, there's also accompanying controls for pan and scale, which let you adjust the image within each drop zone. I'll click on the Libraries button so we can go back to the project and see the sample images. So with the template selected, I'm going to start dragging images into the drop zones. Starting with Sample Image 1 onto Drop Zone 1, and then Sample Image 2 onto Drop Zone 2, and Sample Image 3 onto Drop Zone 3, and so on. I'm going to speed this up and place all 37 images. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that all the images are placed, it's ready to play back, or you can add a music track and then export it as a final video. I'll go back to near the beginning and press play. I'll play it back at double speed. And there you have it, a cool 3D carousel slideshow. If you want to see how it works in Apple Motion, please check out the tutorial which explains building this template. Well, that's it for today. Enjoy your free template, and if you do use it for any public presentation, I'd love to know about it. Please share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. My name's John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple a Day. Apple a Day.